Hi everyone, I'm Yossi, Head of Product Communications at Odoo, and welcome back to another episode of Odoo's Tips and Tricks. I am so excited to announce that this week, we are going to start our series of Odoo Tech Talks, focusing on some technical actions that sound complicated, but in reality, Odoo makes it easy. Today, we are starting out the series with a task that many people find challenging, but it's a critical part of having a successful transition in using new software. The importation of data can present a challenge when adopting new software. I often hear from folks trying out the solution about how easy it is to import data on Odoo. Well, let's take a closer look at what that process looks like and demonstrate that you can jump right in and get your feet wet. Remember, Odoo was created with the end user in mind. And to that end, we want to empower our users to get up and running right away. To that end, we have created an easier way to import your data, whether it's your contact list or your product list. There are a few key steps that need to happen in order to have a successful basic importation. To demonstrate this, we are going to hop onto my Odoo database and show you how to start the importation process right now. Here we are on my database, populated with my various applications. The first thing we need to do is go straight to developer mode, which we can do by going to my settings app. And once we're there, we know we're in developer mode when you see the little bug icon on the upper right hand corner. Having developer mode on allows us to see the properties of each field. Today, we are going to create and import our products. And for that, we are going to access our inventory app and go to products. Let's click on and create it, and we will quickly open up a blank record. As you see here, it will show you all of the details of this record. The first rule deals with the field lines. Here are the ones that are bold represent required fields that must have a value in order to import them. Let's identify the values that we must have. We see product name, product type, and product category. We also see some non-mandatory fields like price and internal reference. To get the name of the field, we simply hover over it and here we see them. We hover over the product name and we see name. And for product type, we see the name as type. What we want to ensure is that the name we see here matches exactly what we have on our spreadsheet. Now that we've identified the required fields that must be filled in, we can also include other fields that you may want to populate, such as price in this example. All in all, this is called field mapping, or in other words, matching the name of the field with what we will create in our spreadsheet. It is important that the names match up exactly and have a successful match and import. Next time, we are going to continue with the last steps of the import process. We're going to create our spreadsheet and map the fields we have identified today. By having a clear understanding of how to complete these important tasks yourself, you can truly take ownership of the software and have a solid sense of accomplishment. Odoo does offer professional services to assist in these tasks. However, if you would like to learn more about how to import your data, please get in touch with us directly or with one of our business analysts. As always, thank you for tuning in to our TED Talk today, and remember to like and follow to get the latest videos and content on all things Odoo. Stay healthy out there and Odoo it all!